Hi, this is Fatima. Here let us discuss how to serve static files using static files middleware in ASP.NET Core application. Before proceeding to this video, watch my previous video where we discussed about request processing pipeline in ASP.NET Core application. One of the most important features almost all web application should have is the ability to serve static files directly from the file system to the clients. Files such as HTML, CSS, images and Java scripts are the important assets of an application and ASP.NET Core can serve these files directly to the clients. By default, the ASP.NET Core can't serve these static files. Some configuration is required in order to enable ASP.NET Core to serve these static files directly. Where do we need to store these static files in ASP.NET Core? In ASP.NET Core, the default directory or the location for static file is www root web root folder and moreover this folder or directory should be present in the root project folder. By default this is the only place from where the ASP.NET Core application serve the static files directly. But we can change this default behavior by using use web root method that we will discuss later in our upcoming video. In this we are going with the default behavior. This is an ASP.NET Core web application we have created already with a simple empty project template. Let us now add www root folder, web root folder. So right click on the project, select add new folder option then provide a folder name as www root once we created the root folder let's add an html file within that folder to do so right click on this folder then select add new item which will open add new item window from that window select the html template provide some name then click on the add button open this html page Let us add some simple text and title. Now run the application and navigate to the URL. This is the output we are getting. So when we navigate to the corresponding URL, we will not get the output as expected. Here we are getting the response from the middleware which is registered using the run extension method. The reason why we are not getting the output as expected because we don't have any middleware which can serve the static files in the request processing pipeline. Configuring Static Files Middleware The ASP.NET Core provides a middleware use static files which can be used to serve the static files. The static files 
can be served from web inside of the web root or it can be served from outside of the web root folder let us see how to configure the static files that is inside of the web root folder In order to configure ASP.NET Core application to serve static files by default, we must include Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.static files middleware in the request pipeline. This middleware package is already included in the meta package. So we don't need to install it separately from ASP.NET Core 2.x application. So we can directly add use static files method which adds static files middleware into the request pipeline. Now you run the application and navigate to the corresponding URL. You will see the output as expected that is coming from the static HTML file. This way we can serve any other file stored in the web root folder. Suppose you want to serve files from outside of the web root folder, you can also do that. Let's add this images folder outside of web root folder and have some images inside this folder. This parameterless use static file method overload only marks the file in web root as servable. So specify static file option parameter in the use static file method to serve images from this images folder. We use the file provider option to specify the images folder from which the static files will be served. This request path option specifies the relative path in the URL which maps to the specific static folder. Now run the application and navigate to the URL. So the request to the corresponding URL will serve the images from that image folder. So now we got a little knowledge about how to serve static files even if it is present outside of the web root folder. Hope you enjoy this video. Our next video is about setting the default page in ASP.NET Core web application. Thank you.